Hey, what's up everybody? Miguel Quiles here. And in this video, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the new Microsoft Surface Book with the performance base and put it up against my old MacBook. Now, um, I'm using this for photography and for editing my videos. And in this particular video, I'm actually gonna do a side-by-side -side speed test specifically for video. So I'll do separate videos talking about the photography part of this new machine. But um, what we're gonna do in this particular video is I have a 4K video clip that I shot on one of my Sony cameras, and I'm gonna attempt to export that 4K clip to a 4K clip that will be good for use on YouTube. So that's the particular test that we're doing. I'm using the latest version of Adobe Premiere CC. And uh, spec-wise, let me kind of tell you what's happening here. So on the MacBook Pro side, um, this is the MacBook Pro 15-inch, the mid-2015 edition. So this is the one that's right before that new version with the touch bar. It's a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, you have 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. And you have a AMD Radeon R9 M370X graphics card. Um, so in terms of uh, graphics performance, uh, it should be very similar. There's an NVIDIA graphics card, I believe, on the uh, MacBook Pro. I'll double check and throw that on the screen to let you know what's in that. But on the Surface Book side, um, that has a 2.6 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and is running Windows 10. Now, both of these machines are the uh, ones with the 512 gigabytes of RAM. So they're both uh, very comparably equipped. And so I uh, wanted to do a test here to see which one would be faster rendering the exact same video clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, set this thing up here and we'll go ahead and get this ready to export. All right, so um, both of these clips are, again, the same exact clip. Um, it's basically, all I did was to take the clip, put it on a timeline. I added a uh, LUT to the video because it was uh, recorded in S-Log to basically make it, uh, just to have an extra layer of complexity to the, to the video. Um, it's about a three minute, almost a four minute clip. Uh, so basically what's happening here, you have uh, 38, 40 by 2160 video clip, which again is in 4K. Uh, we're gonna export that in 4K for YouTube. I'm using the maximum render quality. And both of the files are estimated to be 291 megabytes on both machines. So again, they're set up exactly the same way. Um, and basically I wanna see which one is able to render this video and export it the fastest. And so, um, what I'm going to do as well is off camera, I actually have my cell phone and I have a stopwatch uh, app that's ready to go. So once the first computer finishes with the video, I'm going to hit the stopwatch to start and we're going to see how much faster one um, computer is compared to the other. So let's see if I can go ahead and get this thing started, get this over export and hover over export. Here we go, one, two, three, go. All right, here we go. So right off the bat, the MacBook says that it takes 15 minutes and actually 16 minutes and change on the uh, Surface Book side. It's hovering between 11 and 12 minutes. So I'm just gonna sit back here for however long it takes. And again, once the uh, first computer finishes, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, stopwatch and we'll see exactly how much faster uh, one machine is compared to the other exporting this 4K video clip.
All right, everybody, so there you have it. There was the, uh, the test, and as you can see, the uh, Microsoft Surface Book was able to uh, spit out that video file a whopping six minutes and 20 seconds faster, almost six minutes, 21 seconds faster than the uh, MacBook Pro. So um, for those of you who are using Premiere Pro for your video editing and you were uh, curious to see which one would be faster, um, there's the results of my very, very unscientific test. Um, what would you guys like to see? Because I want to do some more of these side-by-side uh, -side tests. Um, so leave that in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about the test as well. Also, while you're here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I have future uh, tech-related video comparisons like this coming up, uh, as well as uh, tutorials on photography and videography and things of that nature. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. So hopefully you found that enlightening. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.